Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here in Olivia's room. I'm going to do a toy decluttering that is much needed here. As you can see, it's really messy. She has a lot of toys that she hasn't played with them in a long time. I need to sort them out. So yeah, I'll try to declutter and organize as much as I can. I'm going to show you all of that. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the situation right now. It has these toys, a lot of plush toys. It's her bed, more plush toys a lot of things I have to sort it out here too I'm going to use these beans to separate them probably here I'm going to in this hamper I'm going to put all the plush toys what is going to be donated um, where it has to go to the trash I'll see all of that I'll start now Okay, so I separate the plush toys here in this hamper, the ones that I don't know if we're going to donate or we're going to keep in the closet, I don't know yet. And these ones are going to be here in her room. She loves these unicorn ones, so cute. So yeah. There are some other plush toys here, for example that bunny, that one too. But some of them are going to be here. Yeah, I have to see that too. She's going to keep the ice cream cart. She plays with that a lot. And the frozen castle too. So nah, they are staying. There are a lot of small toys like figurines that are, that are all over the floor. I have to see what we're going to keep. Most of them we're going to get rid of, for example, this. These ones, I think we're going to keep just the Mickey, Minnie, Daisy <laughs> and Donald ones and the others are, and the other ones probably to the trash because it's like mostly junk, we'll see.
Okay, so now I'm going to tie this up, this part with these shelves. I don't know. I think we're going to donate this one. This one here, she doesn't play with this at all. Has some missing pieces and she has some similar toys. So yeah, I think we're going to get rid of this one. I got this small bookcase on Amazon. It's perfect for displaying just a few books. The other ones I'm going to store them so I can rotate them. If you're looking for a small bookcase, this is perfect. I'm going to link it down below in the description if you want to check it out. So yeah, it's very useful. And I have to see all these other books. Probably these two big ones are going to stay here and the other ones I'm going to, as I said, we're going to rotate them from time to time. All these ones are, they all have sentimental value. I cannot get rid of them. So probably they're going to stay here. They are presents from my parents, from friends, from loved ones. This dog, she loves it. Plays the Macarena, it's so funny. I don't know why this is here. Have to put it someplace else for her activities. So yeah, let's start with this, with these shelves now. Okay, so these two bags are for donation. The plush toys. I'm going to keep this in the closet. I don't know if I should keep this or not. This easel has a whiteboard on the other side. She doesn't use this much. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep it or not. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Here there are her other books. We're going to storage them too. Um, this guitar, she doesn't play with this anymore. Plus my sister-in-law got a new guitar for her for Christmas. So yeah, we're going to donate this too. And uh, yeah, it's looking much better. I'm going to back it real quick and I'll show you the final result. Okay, I finish. Looks much better, of course. All the clutter, much more space. Okay, so 
uh, this frozen rug. I got it at Walmart about two years ago because Olivia was obsessed with frozen and she likes it until now. She plays sometimes here. Here, her cleaning set. And if you can hear Olivia in the background, she's playing with my husband. Her frozen castle. She plays with this a lot too. As well as the ice cream cart. She loves this. Her bed. She doesn't sleep much here, to be honest. Then, here in these shelves, plush animals there. This incomplete rainbow is missing two pieces. I think they're in the living room. I have to look for them. But I like it, so I kept it there. She plays with this too. The Karaoke Frozen, the alphabet here, the sleigh, Christoph sleigh, she plays with that too. And here with this hammer, <laughs> she likes that one too. And here I have toys that she plays regularly too. Mr. Potato Head, for example, a figurine, Sesame Street, toys, Disney toys, her doctor's kit here, and makeup, fake makeup here, and to beads, to make necklaces. She plays with it. She plays with this too. And as I showed earlier, the small bookcase I got with some of her books that she likes to read, like she likes us to read to her. And in these two baskets, there are some plush toys that she likes. And these, for now, I'm keep them here, these dolls. It's okay now. Here's this extra bed that we have here for my mom when she visits us. She, unfortunately, she can't visit us right now, but we keep the bed here and I want to show you these two beans that I have some toys that she doesn't play with them uh, anymore but still I want to keep them just in case <laughs> I'm going to put this in the closet but for now they're going to stay here in these beans so finally I finish I'm happy with the result everything looks organized there is a lot of space everything is decluttered so i think she's going to play here fine her toy kitchen is in the living room along with all her toy food and all the and all the accessories are there and here she plays here too so yeah i think it's great so i hope you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments how you organize your kids toys if you want me to make more videos like this please let me know so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.